Hey fans! Let's go to the news today! So don't forget to help us by subscribing to the channel and leaving your like! Lakers news, Darvin Ham reveals status of D'Angelo Russell's ankle sprain. When will LA's starting point guard return? Los Angeles Lakers starting point guard D'Angelo Russell missed his fourth consecutive game today with a right ankle sprain when he had to sit out a matinee matchup against one of his many former teams, the Golden State Warriors. Ahead of the bout, Los Angeles coach Darvin Ham relayed the latest news on Russell's progress from the injury incurred the last time LA played the Warriors, another win, when Russell rolled the ankle on the foot of backup Golden State shooting guard Dante DiVincenzo. While he's trending in the right direction, he's day-to-day, -day, Ham said. Again, there are certain steps we take in terms of getting someone back on the game floor. It's just not, okay, he's made this many threes in individual workouts, so let's throw him out there. No, there's steps we take, so it's definitely trending in the right direction. Day-to-day -day sure beats indefinitely, the current recovery window for All-Star Lakers small forward LeBron James injured right tendon. LA will next suit up against a Memphis Grizzlies club that will be missing two critical role players, All-Star point guard John Morant, who has been embroiled in allegations of various misbehaviors of late, and reserve big man Brandon Clark, out for the year with a torn ACL. The Lakers could conceivably steal a win, but their efforts would certainly benefit from Russell's availability. Lakers release injury update for the James King If only 18 games remaining before the conclusion of the regular season, the Los Angeles Lakers should have started making a push for a spot in the playoffs. However, the team is still dealing with injury issues that LeBron James and D'Angelo Russell have been suffering. During the beginning of the Lakers' recent most road trip, while leading the purple and gold to fight their way back from a 27-point deficit, Braun sustained an ankle injury. When he hit the floor, the king made it pretty clear that he heard a pop sound. As a safety measure, the four-time MVP wore a boot while watching the Grizzlies defeat his LAL from the sidelines. Lakers rumors, Malik Beasley, Jared Vanderbilt almost traded to West Rival at deadline. Two deadline acquisitions would have donned another Cubs jerseys if this trade went down. Your Los Angeles Lakers were very active in the 24 hours leading up to the February 9th NBA trade deadline. They got rid of 6 feet 1 inch starting shooting guard Patrick Beverly in exchange for big man M.O. Bamba as part of a 14 trade. L.A. also flipped center Thomas Bryant for second round draft compensation, plus guard Devon Reed. The most significant trade for L.A. this year happened the day before the deadline. The Lakers traded away Juan Escano Anderson, Damian Jones, and maximum salaried point guard Russell Westbrook for three much better players, D'Angelo Russell from the Timberwolves, Jared Vanderbilt, and guard Malik Beasley from the Jazz. The trade was necessary for Los Angeles as they desperately needed to get rid of Westbrook and get back players who fit better alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. LA got younger and is a more formidable squad today. At least, it would be if James was healthy. However, according to Michael Scott of Hoops Hype, two players from the Westbrook trade were almost dealt in another package deal that would have landed them with a Lakers division rival. Atlanta also tried to acquire Crowder in three-team trade talks with Utah and Phoenix centered around Collins going to Utah, Jared Vanderbilt and Malik Beasley going to Phoenix, and Crowder and Shamet going to Atlanta. Among the reasons this scenario didn't materialize was a disagreement in draft pick compensation that would have gone to Utah in the talks. And thank goodness for that. If the trade scenario above had gone down, the Lakers trade we know today would have ceased to exist. Vanderbilt brings size, energy, and defensive prowess to the purple and gold. He's made such a significant impact on both sides of the court, especially with his rebounding. Beasley is an excellent three-point shooter who can shoot it in a spot-up position, off curls and pin downs. He can also create his own shot when he wants to. The dynamic of LA would have looked entirely different, and when you add that LeBron will miss some time, you start to wonder if the Lakers' pre-trade deadline would be able to stay afloat. LA is happy to have Vanderbilt and Beasley in the purple and gold, as fans are hoping those two can play a factor in leading them into the playoffs. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the like to help the channel.